his primary school years, Rick C. Sweepo followed his parents when they went about their charity work, helping those in need, especially during the festive season. This laid out the groundwork for the establishment of the Great Heart Charity Association in 2010. We have a family culture which during festival season and during our birthday month, we will pay a visit to charity homes. What we do is we buy grocery for them, spend some time with the beneficiary in the charity homes. Their action actually influence me, it's not their words. They never tell me that why you should help, why you should do this, no, they never. They just do. This already implant in my mind and my heart, yeah. So I found it that this is the essential and this is important to care for the underprivileged groups. The NGO helps vulnerable groups with an aim of making charitable giving a part of everyone's life. Great Heart Charity Association, we see ourselves as a um, charity platform, a trustworthy platform to link up the beneficiaries, volunteers and donors together. There are various programs carried out under Great Heart Charity Association, starting from family care support to dialysis subsidy programs, Aurang Asli Empowerment Program and Central uh, Care Support as well. We also run a community centre in Klang which we practice the spirit of giving back to the society. That's why we offer traditional Chinese medical checkup, uh, lunchbox for the hungry, tuition classes for the kids, and community garden in that centre to benefit the local community. Our ultimate goal is to make them to become self-sustained after our support. We don't want them to be too dependent on, uh, on us. After they self-sustain, they can become our volunteer to help us to take care of another family or, other, uh, or to join other charity programs to give back to the society. Recently, Great Heart Charity Association killed two birds with one stone by partnering with 23 local eateries affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Under the Dine in One Nation campaign, a certain percentage of the proceeds will be donated to the Hand in Hand Dialysis Subsidy Program. The association also disbursed monetary aid to members of the B40 community, underprivileged as well as those seeking treatment following the Impulse Movement Control Order. Rick says he is grateful that in his line of work, he is able to cross paths with many people over the years. Okay, next. However, an elderly man he met in 2014 left a lasting impression. Uh, it was in year 2014, we actually carried out a project named Fulfilling 100 Wishes Project, which we gather wishes from the under, underprivileged group, and then we seek for the public to uh, fulfill the gather wishes. And among the 100 uh, of wish list, there is one particular wish from an old man who stayed in the office home, stood out the most. He actually requests one thing. Guess what? It's only a plate of wonton noodles because it's his favorite food. And it's quite a number of years since he last tasted it. His simple wishes has actually enabled a group of strangers to come together to prepare and cook wonton noodle. Not only cooking for this old man, he, they actually cook for and all the residents in this old folks home. This is the proudest and the beautiful moment, you know, we able to see the positive change in someone's life that we are helping. You know, when I was young, I never thought that this is something that will influence me. My ambition is never to be a social worker. I wanted to be a lawyer, I wanted to be a businessman. But when I grew up only, I knew that there is something special, there is something connection with the human being, especially to the poor, the needy.